This is a, a shell nut tree which fruited the fruit for us to enjoy the fruit before using the nut for processing shea butter. But as soon as you started processing the, after processing the shea butter, you can still use it for cooking, just as how we use this ordinary cooking oil. And it is a plant that indigenous to Guinea savanna of Africa, having a name by Vitaleria paradosa. The common name is shea nut tree, because we don't process the butter here. And you know, or you can also look on top of the tree, there are some fruit that grows on it. Mm -hmm. When it's ready and you get for an eating and you like sweet things, you may request for all time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is a share nut tree. Shall we also visit another plant just ahead of us? I so uh, yeah uh, you have you have you have a, I did oh. I'm trying to get um then one of the shea nuts or something show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is one. Yes, I'm trying to see some on there. Oh, oh. That's okay, that's yeah. a shea nut. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I love the many names. Uh huh. Those some. Um, yeah, awesome. it, it does look like a plum. Oh, that's Serious. It. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. This is another one here. I've gotten another one here. Okay. I've also so gotten so another two here. Mm -hmm. Because you can yeah. eat it in by bus. Yeah. It cannot be, it cannot be, but I'm just open side of it, just to know how good it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something that you know, you're just getting a feel of using. Yeah. What kind of larvae is that? Yeah, so this is what you can eat. Just mm -hmm. smell. Oh, that smells wonderful. It smells wonderful and it's very, very sweet. It's very nice. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. And this is what they use to make shea butter. Yeah, the inside nut is what they use for. The and inside butter. Nut. Yeah. And the outside flavor is to eat? For, yeah, for eating. Yeah, mm -hmm. The smell is nice. Yeah. 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 The smell? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we also have... Yeah. Please be careful when you are going so that you will hit any stone. Yeah, you don't yeah. step and on the shell, otherwise it will bring you down. Yeah, don't step on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, is, this, is, this is one of the yeah, nuts used for the shell butter. Yeah. Mm. You see, the shell is cracked. Oh, that's so what is in one. is what being used for yeah. the shell butter. Now you see it. Okay. Now. So, so, question. So, these shea trees, the shea, what do you call them? Shea butter? The shea, shea nut trees. Tree. Yeah. The shea nut trees, because they're indigenous, they're everywhere. People can just plant it, plant it yes. harvest it, yes. do, make their own butter. Yes. But we rather have them a lot in uh, the northern part. part of Ghana, where they do, the, uh, they've taken it as their normal work over there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let me explain this. That, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. When you go to the northern part of Ghana, um, it grows in the wild. So whoever goes there to pick it is for you. You just pick it, go and use it, and then you have the uh, share butter the, from to it. sell. Yeah. yeah. And you cannot pick all. So free raw material. Free, free raw, raw material. material. <laughs> go pick them. Tomorrow, uh, when you go, you see another one too there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that's what they do. So you will be going there, right? Yes. Okay. Do you add oil to it? No. Uh, it's when they process it, it's edible. But when it's not processed, like this, you can't you chew. Can't, you can't eat. No way. But when it's processed and then you get the uh, oil uh, from the it. butter, <clears throat> it's it, we use it for cooking. We use it for whatever you want to use. It it's for. good for skin. Good oh. for body. Yeah. Very, very good. I, I, everybody, a lot of people sell it mm -hmm. in the States. That's why I was wondering. Oh, okay. If you said the raw materials are free, I thought. Yeah. If you're a woman <laughs> and you a want to start. have a very smooth skin, mm -hmm. use shea butter. What about men? <laughs> Our skin is hard. <laughs> so. <laughs> right. Uh, we have uh, this, this goes along here. It also has a pot in it, which only serves the same as peanuts from the nuts. 
inside of the pot. And it is indigenous to Indian, having a common name by tree nuts. So if you wanted to uh, enjoy peanut dish and you don't have it, rather having the, this plant, and it just started dropping from the seed, just collect them. Either you start eating raw or you roast or by steam. It tasted the same as peanuts. I hope you've also enjoyed uh, Brazilian nuts. Yeah. This is a Brazilian nut tree. Mm. Do you see something that goes in it? Yeah. Maybe the leaf is covered the pot, so I will just rush for one minute to bring some of the pot just for you to see. You've seen one of it, okay? Yeah, small. Yeah. Ones. But let me bring one here so that you can test. You can heat to feel how hard it is. Okay. So he's about to go get the monkey pot. Monkey pot. Yeah. Now this is one of it. <laughs> like a little pot. This is a pot yeah. which contains the nuts. So it opens natural. You don't want nothing to, to hit you. The nuts. So that the pot will remain until the stem got dry and when it is windy it will bring it down. When you get it fully like this, what you have to do is to nail under here, put it firm for planting a flower, or you nail side and side, hang them on your porch. But uh, you know, over here we, ha we don't have monkeys. It's only squirrels that we have. But when it is at where monkeys are around, they really enjoy. Sometimes not all of the paws are having the same bigger mouth like this. Some are just smaller. So they try to put their head in it. Then they, they get struggle with it. Yeah, they get struggle from it. So uh, you can you see how hard it is when it drops on your head. By all means, you will feel something. He didn't feel how hard it is. An egg roll on the tree? Yeah, and because it, the pot is very strong, we did name it after monkey, so we call it monkey pot. Yeah, monkey pot. Yeah, in yeah. addition, one other thing also is, as he said, when it starts open, the genes in it, monkeys love it. So they put their head in it that they want to drink. Now, when they drink, then be, they become drunk. They can't pull their head out. <laughs> so their head gets stuck in it. That's terrible. So when it gets stuck in it, this those who like, like it's gonna end monkeys, well. yeah, you have a meat. It's not going to end well. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. no. Oh, yes, they die out of it. And then some people kill them and then make soup out of it. Monkey pots. Please watch yourself to this side and to this is side. That little, see that, that, is that a baby monkey pot right there? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. So is that how you trap the monkeys? Yes. yes. Now, this uh, yellow painted house over here was used as photo gallery by the British people. So in the year 1957, when they vacated, they turned it to administration for the Botany Gardens. The white and black painted house also was made, built from wood. So since 133 years, we've only changed two steps from the uh, ground. And the, the remaining ones are still exist. This house uh, was built just as a curator's residence since 1890. But it was built in 1875. So anybody who comes here to look after the garden was supposed to live here. So since 1890 up to 1957, when British vacated the place, they turned to a dormitory for School of Horticulture training students. They've also vacated here to another place. You can see a lemon green painted over there. That also was used as a clinic for the then wife of Sir Gordon Goggins, called Lady Network. After vacating the place, they turned it to a dining hall for the horticulture students. And this was their classrooms block. Oh. Right. Some of us have this uh, plant in our home. We call it Daniela. 
What is somebody that's Daniela? Is yeah, it, is this? Yeah, it's called Daniela. Hmm. Right, so, family, we're here taking you on a nice roots tour through the Avery Botanic Gardens. So, this is a beautiful place of nature and it's a nice uh, nice walk yeah. so i always want to get us out here in nature to walk to experience a nice education you no know, time so that's what we're doing here family so this is one of the things that I always want you to be prepared for now sometimes we don't get enough exercise but when you travel with us trust me you're gonna get some good exercise yeah yeah, yeah. this is a brie garden it's a beautiful place one of the 1600 gardens in the world and it's so much indigenous plants. Some of them too are, are foreign, were brought in from India and Burma and other places. Uh, you need to come and have a look at it. Now we are going to see a big tree that is hollow, that human being can go into the belly of a tree. There you go, family. Come and see. Thank you. We're about to get started, family. And we're going to continue another feed. And this is what we're going to be talking about. 